Hi there, my name is Jordan. I'm with Everglades Equipment Group, and today we're back in sunny southwest Florida, where we're going to be talking about the Steel Green Manufacturing Zero Turn Sprayer Spreaders. I'm joined today by Caleb with Steel Green Manufacturing. He's going to help us go over these uh, these products. Now we're going to go through the basic overview of, of all these machines and talk about different specs and capacities. We're starting with our smallest unit, which is our SG36. This model is made to go through three foot gates, so it's very ideal for your smaller properties. This features two 15 gallon saddle tanks, giving you 30 gallons of total capacity. Features an eight foot spray boom that does break away, so you are able to fold these in and also spray very tight areas with just your center section. On the granular side, this features a 120 pound hopper that's a variable spread width, meaning it'll be able to spread from 4 to 25 feet depending on what granular you're throwing. <laughs> now we're jumping over to the SG46. The SG46 comes with two 25 gallon tanks for a 50 gallon capacity. Also has an 8 foot boom with breakaways and a 220 pound hopper. This machine is designed to go through four foot gates. Now we're gonna jump up to our biggest unit of this type of model, which is our SG-52. The SG-52 has two 30 gallon saddle tanks giving you 60 gallons of total capacity. When you jump up to the 52, we also go up to a 10 foot boom giving you a bigger spray width. These do still break away and you still could do your center section if needed. This also features a 220 pound hopper with the same variable spread width going from four to 25 feet. Every single one of these machines that we have sitting here all operates the same way. So we're standing at one of the machines, a couple of basic things, a couple of basic things to note. These are zero turn hydrostatic machines, so they do operate as most zero turn mowers would. You have a speed bar, which is also a stability bar. So you can move this back and forth to help control your speed, but it also gives you stability when you're driving the machine. So when you drive, all you have to do is hold onto this bar. It'll give you stability and it'll maintain your speed control. When running the liquid side, our pumps run off a rocker switch, so it's very easy on and off. The booms are set up in three sections and you have control of that with these valves. When they're pointed up, which that means they're open and spraying. So if you want to do you know, just a center section, you can shut these off. Or if you just want to hit an end nozzle, you can do that. Controlling your pressure, we have a basic knob right here. The, nice, the neatest feature about this is that you can actually unscrew this and it kind of acts as a lock so it'll keep your pressure and keep the knob from wanting to go down you know, and vibrate down as the day goes on. On the granular side of things you have a dial right here. That's how you would control your spread width. This increases and decreases your impeller speed. You have three basic cables. One opens your gate one is your diffuser cable, so what that is is a black plastic piece underneath that will help adjust your pattern. And the last thing is a side deflector. So a side deflector will drop down on the side, and if you're trimming along sidewalks or bed edges, you can drop this down with a cable, and the product will hit and throw back to the center of the machine so you're not throwing all the way out. These saddle tanks can run individually or all together, and that's controlled on the side of the tower here. So you have full control and can shut these tanks off by just shutting these valves off and on. It's very conveniently located and very easy access. One of the other neat features of this machine is our easy removal impeller. So underneath here, there's a quick release, in, uh, quick release pin. So to take it off, you can just pop this loose, take it off, makes it easier to clean the impeller makes it easier to do bucket catch calibrations. If you want to see a calibration video in action, head over to our YouTube page, Steel Green Manufacturing on YouTube. The link will be in the description below. All right, so still talking about all the comparisons of all three of these machines. Each one have three engine options. We've got the 23 and a half horsepower Kawasaki's on all three of these machines with two other engine options. We have a 21 horsepower Vanguard and a 21 horsepower uh, Honda option. All three machines right now are set up with single pump with the Kawasaki motors. You can upgrade each of these machines to a dual pump for higher volume. That has to be with the 21 horsepower Vanguard motor. All three machines have a five gallon fuel capacity, 10 mile an hour speeds. Another comparison between the three, 
You'll see on the 36, it comes equipped standard with a 15 foot coiled hose reel. And these two come with a 75 foot uh, hose reel. But you can get the 75 foot hose reel added to the SG36. Each unit is equipped with two trays that can hold up to 100 pounds of extra fertilizer bags. Looking in here to the mechanical part, we have two hydro gear pumps that power two Parker wheel motors. Right here you see our brake assembly. Right now the brake is off. You can put your foot in here, pull this down, and that puts your parking brake on. The seat pops off for very easy access to a bunch of your components that are in here, as well as Steel Green added a nice technical data sheet on the back of the, the seat for your reference. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the custom options we can do with these machines. Uh, our most popular being our seven gallon independent tank that mounts on the back of the machine. That comes with its own pump, pressure regulator, and coil hose so there's no crossover with any of your main spray. Uh, some of the other options include a foam marker. We have three different options of that, a one gallon, two gallon, and two and a half gallon capacity. We can also do what's called our hillside assist so the front caster wheels can lock on these machines. It's an electric over hydraulic system that runs off a rocker switch so it's very easy to use and helps with stability. And lastly, one of our other more popular options is our dual pump setup. So you can do add a second pump to your machine and get higher volume, which also increases agitation and circulation. Now I'm gonna throw it over to Jordan who's gonna talk about a couple of our attachments that we offer. I don't know about you, but down here in Southwest Florida, we need to use a snow plow. Within a few minutes, you can attach a snow plow to this and scoot 350 pounds of snow out of your way. The rake attachment is six inch tines with a 55 inch width. It's good for spreading out seed and dethatching. Those are some of our more popular options that we offer. We do have more that we could touch on. Uh, if you wanna see those, you can go to steelgreenmanufacturing.com. The link will be in the description below.